How's everybody doing? Uh, you know, we're really lucky to come out here and practice against the Broncos. You know, uh, Vic Fangio and George Payton have, uh, you know, really done a great job letting us come and work against them. You know, I think a lot of Coach Fangio and their defense is, uh, you know, very talented and it's a very good challenge for us. So between Coach Zimmer and Coach Fangio, I think our offense gets a lot of good work in and uh, looking forward to getting better today. Does it feel weird for you to be facing the Broncos, seeing as you guys have so much history with the Broncos? Uh, uh, not really, you know, familiar with those guys, but just really focused on our guys and trying to get our guys better. Yeah. How much did they help you to get here as offensive coordinator and, and maybe especially uh, Coach Knapp, whose uh, memorial service is Saturday? Yeah, uh, they've helped more than anything, that fr the Denver franchise. And Greg Knapper, you know, uh, a great friend, rest in peace, uh, was a major influence on, on me and uh, a lot of coaches that I work with here. So really miss him. But, uh, you know, obviously learned a lot in Denver and very, very blessed to have that, you know, have that experience there. But how do you feel like the offensive line held up yesterday, getting to see a different, uh, different pressures, different pass rush, things like that? I thought they did a good job. Our guys did well. It's great to go against, uh, you know, Vaughn and Bradley, great challenge. Uh, it's going to be another good challenge today. A lot, of, a lot of movement, a lot of line movement, plenty of good reps for us to work on and coach off of. Speaking of the offensive line, it was reported this morning that Christian Derrissaw is getting a, a second opinion in Philadelphia. Do you expect that he'll be gone for a little bit? Yeah, I know, you know, he's taking it one, one day at a time, working really hard with Eric Sugarman. Um, I let Coach Zimmer comment more on that, but he's been working his tail off. We've been cautious with him, taking it slow. And uh, when, he's, when he's back, uh, we'll take him. Otherwise, until then, getting a lot of good extra work for, for uh, Rashad Hill. With Derrissaw, how much time would he need to be ready for the season to just to get on the field? How, how much time do you think he'd need to be in a position where he could play week one if he wanted him to yeah. do that? Uh, I wouldn't put a number on it. I think with any any player coming off uh, an injury, it, they're all different. Um, I would say uh, when he's been here, he's been really sharp and really dialed in. So mentally, I don't think it'll be a problem. He just got to get his, his physical reps and get his conditioning. Clint, um, Vic Fangio's defense seems to be influencing defenses around the league. How much does that help to be able to practice against them and see some of the staples of their defense? Yeah, it's a great, great challenge. Uh, some, some different schemes than we've been seeing the first couple weeks. Uh, playing them a couple years ago uh, was a great challenge. So just, you know, just seeing some new players out there is great for our guys. They're going against the same corners every day, same linebackers. Um, just, you know, put some new faces out there, some new coverages, new stunts and fronts. Um, and great work. What, what, are you, what are you most looking forward to from having the actual preseason game on Saturday? And, and really, you know, you, you simulate a lot, but nothing's real until it's a game, right? Yeah. Most thing, thing I'm looking forward to the most is just seeing these young guys get opportunities. Um, they've been practicing their tail off since the spring, put in a lot of hard work, and you know, Sunday or Saturday is their reward. So I look forward to watching them. Um, execute. I guess going off of that, is there a position group that you're looking forward to see kind of how it shakes out at the bottom of the depth chart on Saturday? Uh, no, you know, there's so many, uh, every position, you know, uh, I think what stands out to me initially is we got some young receivers that, um, that are going to have some opportunities, but that's across the board, every one of our positions. When you, when you look at some of the depth guys like Wangu or, or Smith Marset, whose who's number one characteristic is speed. What kind of things does that open up for you as a play caller down the road once they get more involved? Yeah, that's uh, it's a number one attribute to have as a wide out, you know, but uh, he's got a lot of other great ones as well. He's a very smart player. He was well developed at Iowa, well coached there. Um, he studies hard. I like how he practices, um, but speed doesn't hurt. Yeah. How much do you expect Alvin to play in the preseason and how much do you weigh how he's a guy who always wants to play, but, you know, you got to be careful. It's a 17 game regular season and all that. I think we'll, you know, evaluate that more the next couple of days with Coach Zimmer. I think today is a big. He's going to get a lot of great work today. Um, but I'll let Coach handle that. And uh, you know, today is like our game. Today's practice against the Broncos. Speaking of Alvin, what'd you think of him getting his uh, college degree a few weeks ago? How cool was that? He's been impressive in all facets ever since I've been here. Uh, the way he works, the way he practices, the way he carries himself. He's he's our he's our leader, and I can't say enough good things about him. Clint, how much value do you put on 
preseason games for the starting offense to be able to maintain some sort of routine? Because I know Kirk said yesterday he wants to play. A lot of times those starters, you want to preserve them for as long as you can because anything can happen. How do you weigh the balance between getting your first team offense, the reps they need to be cohesive and, and pulling back a bit? Yeah, at some point it'll be really important that we all get out there together and get a, get a couple series in. Um, but honestly, when you practice against Denver, a team like this, like this, this is like game day, these, these two practices. So these are just as good as the game reps going good against good. So uh, at some point it will be important that we all get out there together um, and uh, just treating the day like a game, honestly. Portland Sutton's rookie year. What do, you, what do you just remember kind of about what you saw from him early on that kind of gave you the signs that he turned into a pro bowler the next year and um, on that track now? Yeah, Cortland, uh, he's a specimen, hard worker, great great attitude. That's what stands out to me is his attitude, his love for the game. Um, I don't know what's legal to say about other teams' players, so I don't want to get, get in trouble for that, but I can't. Uh, Cortland Sutton is a stud. That's the best way to put it. How is uh, Kellen look to you since coming back? Say again? Kellen Mond. How, yeah. how would he look to you? Uh, Kellen has done a great job, you know, working behind the scenes while he's, you know, been been out of the building. First work yesterday, and, uh, you know, I thought he came out and did a, did a really good job. He's got plenty of things he can get better at, but, you know, he's, uh, he's really attacked it mentally, and now he just has to get another day's work in versus a, a really darn good defense. Said he was getting most of the walkthrough reps yesterday. As far as that physical ramp up period, um, how do you anticipate, like, guess I guess that timetable for him getting physically where he needs to be? With Kellen? With Kellen, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it won't be long. He looked really good yesterday. I thought that, you know, he's going to get his win back. He's got to get his strength back. But um, I thought he, I think it'll take him a few days maybe to be back 100%. But he looked, looked pretty good yesterday.